going on guys let's look at this problem right here here the question is asking calculate v out over v in for each of the circuits de depicted in figure 5.142 assume is is equal to 8 times 10 to the power of minus 16 ampere beta is equal to 100 and va is equal to infinity also assume the capacitors are very large okay and uh, here we have a few equations we have to know ib is equal to here it mentions circuits. I I have done the A part and B part pre in previous videos. This is C part. And we had to know that IB is equal to IC over beta. And also IC is equal to... Actually, IE emitter current is equal to 1 plus beta divided by beta times IC. Okay, this is base current. This is emitter current. This is equivalent application we can use. Now, here we have to find out IC because... Our purpose is to find out the transconductance because the question is asking for the gain. To find the gain, we have to find out the transconductance. To find the transconductance, we had to solve for IC. That's why we had to bring everything in terms of IC and solve them. And IC is equal to beta times IB. And if you apply KCL here, beta times IB current is VCC. VCC minus VT ln of IC over IS minus 1 plus beta over beta times IC R E divided by R1 then minus VT ln of IC over IS plus 1 plus beta over beta ICRE divided by R2 now let's go ahead and plug all the values beta is equal to 100 and VCC equal to 2.5 voltage minus v the, uh, VT VTC is a constant value that's 26 millivoltage 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Let's avoid this unit. Let's avoid this voltage right here. 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Lown of IC over 8 times 10 to the power of minus 16. Uh, that's IS given value. Plus 1 plus beta. Beta is given to be 100. 1 plus 100 over 100 times the emitter resistance. IC is what you are trying to find. And the emitter resistance here is okay emitter resistance here base collector and uh, emitter base collector emitter emitter is 2 kilo ohm and five, 500 so these two are in series and since they have mentioned the capacitors are very large it means it can be just short circuited so this is going to be just 2.5 kilo ohm, right? So here we are going to have 2.5 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by R1. R1 is 14 kilo ohm, that is 14 power 10 to the power of 3 minus Vt, that is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 ln of IC over IS, IC over IS is 8 times 10 to the power of minus 16 then plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 100 over 100 IC times RE again that is 2.5 times 10 to the power of 3 this time we have to divide this one by this R2 that's 11k that's 11 times 10 to the power of 3 and that's it. If you calculate IC, that will become 163 times 10 to the power of minus 6. And that is 163 microampere. Now, we have to find out the transconductance. That is GM is equal to IC over VT. IC is 163 times 10 to the power of minus 6. And VT is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And that gives us 6.27 millisiemens now the next thing is we have to calculate the gain gain is our final 
equation gain av is equal to rc divided by 1 over gm plus re1 plus rs parallel r1 parallel r2 divided by 1 plus beta now rc here negative this is negative okay negative 10 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 1 over the transconductor is 6.27 6.27 times 10 to the power of minus 3 plus re1 is 500 plus 1 over 1 plus 100 times 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm parallel 14 kilo ohm parallel 11 kilo ohm and that gives us AV that's gain is equal to negative 14.96 and that's it that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics too there are a bunch of videos in my playlist I hope you guys watch it too don't forget to subscribe see you next time